Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and I have a question in the comments that I would like to answer for the video. So I've been asked um, from StreamTag88, I'm moving to test lead position next year. How to be great lead and what should I focus on? I mean, how I can prepare for the role. Maybe you can record a video about it. All right. So throughout my career, I've been in a manager's role. Uh, where I had to build team and create processes and hire people and interview people and pretty much run in the whole QA department. I've been a solo QA on several projects where I also was a manager to myself, but also directly reporting to directors of development and working with developer uh, really close, being built into the team, being QA person, full stack slash consultant to developers, kind of managing QA and everything QA, I was doing that. Uh, and I've been working as a QA engineer in the team in the part of a bigger organization, just as a QA engineer, senior QA, um, and working with QA manager. So I have a range of experience. Um, and I think the core thing that you will see once you become a team lead, that a lot of times priorities shift from testing uh, directly and being involved in, you know, running test cases or building test cases or stuff like that more to uh it's a people position where you have to manage your qa team and talk to your qa uh, people understand to to give them guidance on where to prioritize and what to test on one hand uh, on the other hand you want to build a reporting out of that or gather the reporting from the team and report it to higher ups business people or uh development director, whoever you'll be reporting, QA director, or generally product manager, product owner. Um, you'll have to kind of be in between the people that do things and people that want to get things done so they can move it higher up and say what is being done and what is uh, working, what is not working. So you will have to work on multiple things um, that kind of shift you from testing into more like people's position. Uh, you would, you probably want to work on your uh, communication skills, your soft skills, your leadership skills. Uh, you will have to kind of remind yourself that sometimes things go well, sometimes things go not so well, and you have to be able to guide other people through that. If something didn't work out, how you can improve things. If something works well, uh, how to uh, say, you, you know, you're doing a great job and motivate people. Uh, you will probably also be responsible for test strategy and planning. So you'll have to understand the product and what's the best way to test it, what kind of approach you should use. Um, you will have to think about the strategy overall, uh, when you will be doing regression, how you're going to be uh, doing reporting, what areas you should be focused on, which environments and so on. Um, you also will have to monitor the process continuously. So seeing how you can optimize it, how you can improve it, what kind of tracking tool and how you want to use it. Um, you probably start working on some metrics like KPIs. So how many bugs escaped, how many bugs were total found, um, what is the test coverage, how many tests are automated and how many tests are being run manually, how long does it take, what is the success rate? Uh, what are the percentage of uh, tests and passing? And uh, you will have to do risk analysis saying, you know, we're finding this and this and this and how badly it's going to impact if you release with it, how or um, you're probably going to also measure how fast things are being uh, taken care of if you open a bug, what kind of bugs are being opened, what are the pri top priority bugs and uh, how fast are they being fixed. So there will be a lot of processes that you pretty much going to control and oversee in terms of testing and how it's going. Uh, you will have to align your goals with uh, project owners and project managers to understand what are they focusing on right now and what team should be focusing on in parallel so that you kind of have uh, alignment with the business. You probably want to have some familiarity with uh, modern tools like Playwright or API testing tools and understand what kind of technologies your team can use or should be using. You not necessarily have to be expert with it, but uh, you will have to find right people that will be 
good at it so they can help you out build out uh, the automation or whatever is being built for the team whatever is needed um, you want to so you're going to be in position to uh, work with other people's expertise uh, bring out their strengths help them to grow and build out a process that you can align with business and report it and present it uh, to make sure that your team is happy and uh, people are not overworked but also that you deliver on time um, it will be a people's management position more than testing position so uh, you will find out that some people are doing with, well with um, a relaxed management style where they're less control and less overseen other people are doing uh, better when they have clear goals and clear tasks so they probably need a little bit more management uh, it will depend um, on on the person that you work with. There are also possibility for conflicts within the team, and some people might not get well with other people. So you have to think how to rearrange them or work that through in the team. Um, so you have process streamline and work is not impacted by inner inner relationship within your testing group that people are going to be managing. Um, you probably want to start looking into uh, different groups on quality assurance and different expertise that you can read upon online on managing people pick up some books some materials um, maybe start looking into reddit qa groups and read about people's experience as qa managers and team leaders and how they organize processes there's a lot of stories online um, and just look joining qa community uh, and kind of seeing how people do things um yeah and it is a leadership position and like any leadership position the focus shifts even though you're still in uh in testing in quality assurance but your job moves uh into promoting quality overall across your company and your team members managing establishing managing and improving qa processes um holding QA people accountable and helping them to report and gather metrics uh, to you and then you'll bring all those metrics reports to the business and you will align your testing goals and priorities with business needs and re I mean reporting to the business so moving it to higher ups and resolving conflict so it, it's a it's a good mix of different things on top of maybe some testing I'm not going to tell you that you're not going to do any testing at all. Uh, every place is going to treat their team lead or QA manager or test lead differently. Some places will see you more of a hands-on position and you test a lot more than you actually manage. Some people, uh, well, I'm not, probably people not a good word. Some companies would want you to be more hands-on and do a lot of things. And maybe you'll have some other QA engineers helping you out. Other companies uh, just want you to talk to the business, talk to your QA uh, peers and gather information and report. So it will be different from place to place. But generally speaking, it's a good mix of uh, communication, leadership, uh, understanding of QA processes, establishing a team, managing and gather metrics and reporting. So. I think that's the core difference between like a regular QA senior QA engineer versus QA manager QA lead. Again, preparing for it, um, well, it will be a lot of it will be on the job. A lot of it will be from understanding how the business views your position. Uh, even though you'll have some space to establish what your position is, but most likely if they're hiring someone, I mean, they kind of see what this person needs to be doing so you'll have to figure that out on the job uh, that's one thing but also again going online doing research video like that and then generally reading picking up some books on management um, understanding management in general um, understanding test management uh, being a test lead and reading up upon that and going on reddit uh, linkedin there's a lot of material online that you can research and read upon. Something will resonate with you, something will not. Uh, if that's your first position, over time, as you manage people, as you understand better yourself, you will discover what works for you. 
personally and how it will work with the team. It will be always a work in process, right? A work in progress. Uh, but at some point you will realize what is good. Um, what is your style? How can you improve the process, impl impact people, grow as a manager and let others grow? And uh, not everyone, not everyone's style is going to be the same. As long as you contribute in the quality of the product effectively and, uh, you know, people have space to work and they're happy in the environment, they're not leaving the company because of you, they're not mad at you, you, you know, you can communicate and if something comes up, you can figure things out, I think you'll be fine, okay? Um, establish expectations as soon as you start. Uh, understand the expectations. So there you, you can write them down as an, as a goals, break them down in mini goals and think about how you can achieve them. Right. I think that should be a good place to start your career as a QA team lead. Right. So hopefully that helps. It was Alex USA days. Thank you for watching and bye bye.